Howdy partners, welcome to Cowboy Classics with Scott Paladin. Tonight's episode, Ave Imperatrix. Set in this stormy northern sea, queen of these restless fields of tide, England. What shall men say of thee, before whose feet the worlds divide? The earth, a brittle globe of glass, lies in the hollow of thy hand, and through its heart of crystal pass, like shadows through a twilight land, spears of crimson suited war, the long white crested waves of fight, and all the deadly fires which are the torches of the lords of night. The yellow leopard strained and lean, the treacherous Russians know so well, with gaping blackened jaws are seen, leap through the hail of screaming shell. The strong sea lion of England's wars hath left this sapphire cave of sea to battle with the storm that mars the star of England's chivalry. The brazen-throated clarion blows across the Pathan's reedy fen, and the high steeps of Indian snows shake to the thread of armored men. And many an Afghan chief who lies beneath his cool pomegranate trees clutches his sword in fierce surmise when on the mountainside he sees the fleet-foot Mari scouts who come to tell how he hath heard afar the measured roll of English drums beat at the gates of Kandahar. For southern wind and east wind meet where girt and crowned by sword and fire, England with bare and bloody feet climbs the steep road of wide empire. O lonely Himalayan height, gray pillar of the Indian sky, where sawst thou last in clinked fight or winged dogs of victory? The almond groves of Samarkand, Bokhara, where red lilies blow, and oxus, by whose yellow sand the grave white turban merchants go, and on from thence to Ipsahan, and on from thence to Ispahan, the gilded garden of the sun, whence the long dusty caravan brings cedar and vermilion. And that dread city of Kabul set at the mountain's scarped feet, whose marble tanks are ever full with water for the noonday heat. Where through the narrow straight bazaar a little maid Circassian is led a present from the czar to some old and bearded Khan. Here have our war eagles flown and flapped wide wings in fiery fight. But the sad dove that sits alone in England, she hath no delight. In vain the laughing girl will lean to greet her love with love lit eyes. Down in some treacherous black ravine, clutching his flag, the dead boy lies. And many a moon and sun will see the lingering, wistful children wait to climb upon their father's knee. And in each house made desolate, pale women who have lost their lord will kiss the relics of the slain, some tarnished epaulet, some sword, poor toys to soothe such anguished pain. For not in quiet English fields are these our brothers lain to rest, where we might deck their broken shields with all the flowers the dead love best. For some are by the Delhi walls, and many are in the Afghan land, and many where the Ganges falls through seven mouths of shifting sand, and some in Russian waters lie, and others in the seas which are the portals to the east or by the wind-swept heights of Trafalgar. O wandering graves, O restless sleep, O silence of the sunless day, O still ravine, O stormy deep, give up your prey, give up your prey. And thou whose wounds are never healed, whose weary race is never won, O Cromwell's England, must thou yield for every inch of ground a sun? Go, crown with thorns thy gold-crowned head, 
change thy glad song to song of pain. Wind and wild wave have got thy dead, and will not yield them back again. Wave and wild wind and foreign shore possess the flower of English land. Lips that thy lips shall kiss no more, hands that shall never clasp thy hand. What profit now that we have bound the whole round world with nets of gold, if hidden in our hearts is found the care that groweth never old? What profit that our galleys ride, pine forest like on every main? Ruin and wreck are at our side, grim wardens of the house of pain. Where are the brave, the strong, the fleet? Where is our English chivalry? Wild grasses are their burial sheet, and sobbing waves their thread and knee. O oh, loved ones lying far away, what word of love can dead lips send? O oh, wasted dust, O oh, senseless clay, is this the end? Is this the end? Peace, peace. We wrong the noble dead to vex their solemn slumber so. Though childless and with thorn-crowned head, up the steep road must England go. And when this fiery web is spun, her watchmen shall descry from afar the young republic like a sun rise from these crimson seas of war. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Cowboy Classics with Scott Paladin. Our work tonight was Ave Imperatrix by Oscar Wilde. Produced, edited, and read by Scott Paladin. Audio copyright 2021, Scott Paladin.